Uh, this is an issue that transcends politics. This is an issue that we must deal with. And if I can talk about the issue of food labelling. In 2010, uh, together with my Greens colleague, uh, Senator Rachel Seward, we introduced a bill for truth in labelling of genetically modified material because there was a scandal that Friends of the Earth uh, exposed in relation to the S26 soy milk where there was not so-called unintentional contamination of baby formula um, of GM uh, material, yet there was no requirement to label it because under our current rules, if it's so-called unintentional contamination, less than 1%, you don't have to label it. What is defined as unintentional begs uh, a number of questions. Um, the rigour, the chain of evidence, the chain of care seems to be quite unclear. We try to tighten that up in that legislation. It was rejected by the major parties, so there's much more work to do. I'm not sure if there are public funds for uh, Steve Marsh, but there ought to be, and I'm happy to contribute to that because it's going to cost him half a million dollars um, he wants to maintain his clean green status as an organic wheat producer. He gets a 50 to 100 per cent premium on organic wheat. It's destroyed his market because, by virtue of that contamination. So there ought to be strict liability laws, and that's why I'm very happy to work with Mark about this and also to look at introducing federal laws on this along with a fresh approach to food labelling laws. And this time round, I actually want to uh, try and uh, go cross-party. We need to speak constructively, engage constructively with some of my Nationals colleagues to say, this is about farmers' rights. If a farmer wants to be GM free, they should have certain rights. They shouldn't have to mortgage their farm to fight a case in courts against a multi-billion dollar corporation. It's terrific that Dave Bassani is here as a senior member of the uh, of the Shadow Ministry here in South Australia. But I have to say, David, because I like to be hated by both major parties equally. Uh, um, <laughs> Back in 2006, Christopher Pine, who I think is quite a, a very good local member, he did say publicly in 2006 that state governments should drop the GM ban because it was holding back farmers. So we need to be vigilant. We need to encourage people such as Dave Pisoni in the Liberal Party uh, for his views, but we also need to hold to account those on both major parties who take a different view. So what I'd like to see out of tonight is a template for further legislative reform and I will work very hard to get as many people from all sides of politics to support that bill. It will trigger a further Senate inquiry which will be a useful process. We need truth in labelling this country and I've got to say, so I'm, I'm being fair David, I'm going to have a swipe at the ALP. I thought the Blewett review, Neil Blewett's review on food labelling was a bit weak, a bit wishy-washy. Pretty wishy-washy. Um, but the government's response was worse. Even the little, the wishy-washy recommendations were at least some small steps forward. The government just cobwashed that completely, and I was pretty disgusted. And I don't use that term lightly with the federal government's response. So this has to be made a major issue at the next federal election, and this has to be about farmers' rights and above all consumers' rights. And that's why this forum is so important. And um, I'm looking forward to reporting back to you in the next few months as to the progress of the bill that will be introduced in the federal senate. Thanks very much.